this is Anna. Anna is interested in traveling and learning about other cultures. That's why she decided to live abroad and teach English. After doing lots of research, Anna found that she can secure much better and higher paying teaching jobs when she is TEFL or TESOL certified. But which course is right for her? She may feel that she only wants a 60 hour online course giving an introduction to TEFL. She may prefer to attend a 120 hour in-class course in one of many exciting destinations around the globe or take a 120 hour course online with or without tutor support. Anna might want to follow up with a specialized 50 hour course in teaching young learners or teaching business English. Or, if she's already TEFL or TESOL certified, she might choose a 250 hour online diploma course or a 30 hour or 50 hour observed teaching practice course. Anna decides to go for the 120 hour online course with tutor support. It offers her flexibility as she can study from anywhere at her own pace and she has up to six months to complete all the course units. She can work on the course units on her laptop, tablet or even smartphone. Plus, the tutor is available to provide clarification and helpful ideas throughout the course. If Anna doesn't like the course in the first three days, she can simply take advantage of the money back guarantee offered. And this is how Anna can now work through the units. Anna's course control panel is filled with course materials, video resources and of course the course units. Anna can now start to work on her first course unit by reading it online or downloading it onto her computer. This first unit introduces the course and explains its aims and focuses. After each unit, Anna's understanding of the content will be assessed in a short multiple choice quiz. She then needs to submit all the unit tests and the final lesson planning task. Congratulations to Anna! She has successfully completed her 120 hour course and is now TEFL or TESOL certified. Anna now holds her internationally recognized certificate in hand. Now the only thing Anna needs to worry about is where she should teach abroad. Asia? South America? Europe? The options are endless. Good luck, Anna!